what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to be painting the wheels on my e36 <laughs> I want to do a gold. I want to add flakes, but um, I wanted to order the flakes, but it'll take like another week or so, and I just want to get it done today. Um, I bought some regular glitter. I was reading online that it'll melt off or something like that, but I still got it anyways. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna be using this Rustoleum Universal Advanced Formula, just the gold. Um, some gray and white primer that I have and the glossy clear coat over it. I also wanna be doing the trim with this Plasti Dip. It's fading a little bit. Um, so over here I have everything I'm gonna use. Some paper to cover everything up, the glitter, all the spray paint, some tape obviously, and these. Uh, the reason I got this one and not the regular sander thingy was because it has a lot of spokes so i want to be able to get it inside of there really good and stuff so i got those and see how it turns out if not then i'll just return them so i'm also going to be doing the black on this just with plastic dip hopefully it'll look better so uh, yeah i'm gonna take these wheels off and add the drift spares while i paint those so this is what i want to do I kind of did it on this I don't know if you could see in the camera very well there's just the gold with glitter I don't know we'll see how it turns out on the wheels so uh, yeah so I'm gonna put those on and take those off and start setting everything and we'll see how it turns out. All right guys, so the wheels are off the car already. And since I don't have like a work table or anything, what I just did so I didn't have to sand them on the ground, I just put some spare tires at the bottom and then my wheels on top of each other. That way it's like at a perfect level for me to just sand everything. Um, you can do it on the ground if you like, but that really starts to hurt your back. So this is great for me. Uh, so I'm gonna go get the drill and hopefully everything's charged and just add the little metal bush wheels and uh, start setting everything down 12 seconds later so the stupid drill was dead uh, I put it a charge uh, but while I wait on that I'm gonna start cleaning and masking the trim on the whole car I'm gonna do everything all around um, so I'm just gonna grab a rag with water nothing too crazy it's just plastic dip um, I'm gonna start doing that and then start painting it and while I do that hopefully the drill gets charged up so that way I can start sanding everything down and let's get started on the paint. So I finally finished plastic dipping all the trims on the car. It actually came out really nice. It looked brand new. I'll show you guys tomorrow when there's sunlight so that way it'll look better. Um, I was only able to do two layers. I'm waiting on the second layer to dry. Hopefully I have enough for three. And um, I'm gonna add a third layer. That way it'll be easier to peel this off once I take all the masking off. Since the more layers you have on 
plastic dip, the easier it is to peel off. While I wait on that, uh, I found this old sander that I had. Um, I know it's for wood, but whatever, it'll get the job done. I'm gonna use this one for the faces and the lips. And I'm not too sure if I still wanna use this since it might damage the wheel now that I think about it. So I'm gonna use it on the spares, see how it looks. If it does damage it too much, if the lines are too, th too deep, and I'll just return it and figure out what to do for the spokes. Uh, so I'm gonna start sanding the faces right now, and then I'm gonna wait for tomorrow for the sunlight to start painting. So I'm just gonna sand right now, and then tomorrow we'll start painting. So uh, I left the front bumper mass yesterday uh, because that's the last coat I did. So I let it dry overnight. Um, as I was taking it off, I decided to also take off the front kidneys. Uh, that way I could just paint those black as well because I hate the chrome. Uh, so here's how it looks. stupid windy today um so i'm gonna have to clean up the garage and take the wheels in there so that way the wind doesn't affect the paint or anything like that so i'm gonna start painting the kidneys and then start sanding the inside of the spokes of the wheels and then uh get started on those Alright guys, so I just washed two of the wheels. I only did two, uh, just these two, for the reason being that I want to apply the primer on these. And while I wait for the primer to dry, that's when I'm going to be washing these other two. Um, so I'm just going to start masking those up and apply the primer, and then I'll start washing these. finished painting all the wheels they turned out really good um, I didn't end up putting the glitter because I said before it has the metallic finish so it looks really good either way so I'm just gonna race up the car and start putting them on
right guys so here's the finished product the wheels look amazing and the car looks so much better I still have to get some of these on the trim oh that's a plastic dip so I just have to take that off um, but yeah I got a little bit of orange peel on them but nothing too crazy I mean I'm not gonna wet sand all the all the wheels it's just whatever but they look really good especially in the Sun um, they just look amazing that metallic finish is really great it looks so good Alright guys, so I hope you guys liked the video, and I hope you guys liked how the wheels turned out. So uh, that's going to be it for today, and uh, see you guys in the next one. The next day. All right, guys. Update on the car. My rooms got stolen. Don't come to Utah. Stay in Vegas. I know this video should be over by now, but as you guys saw in the clip before, my wheel got stolen. Literally one day after I put them on. So I've had I've had all these wheels for about six months, but the the tires they came with were way too thick, so they wouldn't even fit inside my car because it's low obviously so um this week i finally got to getting new tires um and so i was like i'm gonna get new tires i'll put them on the car but i was like might as well paint them before i put them on i put them on like that day that i got the new tires just to bring it home but i never really had them to like drive around and stuff so i get, i came home i started painting them did the video and that next the day i finished painting them uh the day after that we went to utah um so i got to utah around 11 30 p.m 12 a.m and uh my parents checked in we went up to our room everything was good and then in the morning we came back down it was around 8 30 a.m 9 a.m and the wheel was gone so what I had to do is, uh, thank God I had the spare in the back. If not, I don't even know how I would have brought it back because I had to buy a new tire and everything, new whole wheel. So um, I got, I put my spare on. I had to take one, because they took the lug nuts as well. I don't know why. I had to take one lug nut out of each wheel so I could at least put on my spare. So I had three um, lug nuts on this spare. And now I had to drive it like that, just to, to AutoZone. I got to AutoZone, I got some new lug nuts, and I also got some locking nuts, just in case they try it again, because I have to stay another night at that hotel. So I got all that done, and um, yeah. So um, the next day in the morning, uh, when I was taking the lug nut off this one to put on the other car, I found the jack the jack that the people used to steal it got stuck under the car so all of these lug nuts were loose and the jack was under the car so what i'm guessing had happened was they're gonna take both wheels but the jack it was those scissor jacks the really weak ones it bent you can see in the jack i'll sh i'll see if i could get it right now it bent 
and the jack fell. So the car fell on the jack and the jack got stuck so they weren't able to get the other wheel. Thank God for that because if not, then I would have to buy two wheels and all that. So yeah, so now I'm gonna have to find another wheel, same exact style, have to repaint it again. And this time I have locking nuts. So I hope it doesn't happen again. So yeah, so I think that's it for the video finally and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.